Hey guys, um, here, there's two things I wanted to do today. Um, I woke up and didn't realize it, but it has officially been, it's been a year since Technoblade passed away. And I'm trying really hard not to lose my mind over it. (laughs) And not to break down. Because it feels wrong for me to do that. It, It feels wrong for me to be grieving. And to be so sad be hurting so much because I never knew him I never knew him personally I watched his videos and I loved getting to see who he was to so many people but I never knew him And when I say I watched his videos, I mean every single one that came out, I would binge through the entire thing the second it came on my YouTube notifications. And and it hurts, but it feels wrong for it to hurt. Because... Like, I I didn't know him personally. I wasn't friends with him, like other people that I know. Like, the people that I watch, I wasn't close with him. And... And a year ago, when I found out, I I kind of thought it was a joke. (laughs) I was... I was driving to Texas with my family, and we were, like, an hour away from my grandparents' house. And I was just texting with some friends of mine, and they... They were talking about, like, how sad it was that, like, he was gone and stuff and he was dead. And I was like, no, he's not. He might have, like, died as a dream as a peer or something. Even though, like, it's, it's almost impossible for that to happen. And one of my really good friends was just like, no, like, he, he's really dead. And I refused to believe it. And so I looked it up and... It just hit really hard for me. Um, (laughs) Grief in all sorts of ways hits people really hard. And this was definitely very hard for me to get through. For a couple days it is it's still hard today to think about how he's gone but he's he's not really gone he lives on in everything that people do everything we do to honor him To keep him in our memories. It's like Tommy said in his video that came out earlier. And I really suggest that y'all go and watch it. Because it just it reminded me of all of this. And just how close some people were with him. It just reminded me of a lot. Um... 
and I remembered that I never actually posted this one thing that I really wanted to post at the time. And now it's been a year, and I I still really want to post it. This was the first song that I ever wrote with the intention of being posted, and I didn't put it out at the time because I, I honestly don't even know why, but it's been a year. I feel like it's a good idea to go ahead and put it out here for you guys. Just as my own part to ensure that Technoblade never really does die and that he never dies at all. So, hope you enjoy. Um, even just a little bit. Um, a lot of this was inspired by my own personal grieving, by other people's grieving. Um, yeah. I, I, I just, I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoy. And the blue 